Um, have a look at the analysis on that one. Um, let's see. Okay, so they opened in the center, and this is the thing that I was talking about for the 1300 um, experience that we went through, is that they, there's a lot of this pushing this pawn here, which from the games I've seen them play, it doesn't really give them much in terms of attacking ability or defending ability, counter-attacking ability, you know, once they've placed the knight in this position type thing. And they always seem to be kind of on the back foot. It's very rare that I will see them come out and be positive with that type of opening. And a simple pawn block to me works wonders. Um, I don't know what style or system it is. I'm not bothered about that. I'm looking at the practicalities of actually using simple manoeuvres. So we bring the knight out, as we say, just to basically defend the pawn. And we're quite liking this manoeuvre, basically stopping this potential manoeuvre here. And just develop the knight, and as we said, we like to practice what we preach, which is castling, making sure that we've sorted our bed out first before we've gone blasting out there and trying to take over the world. <clears throat> so, we've done the basics at this point. So, just want to break down now and have a look at the eval bar, see if there's any dips, see if we can progress from that, see if we can bring any new concepts in there or if we're comfortable with the com concepts that we used in the game, then so be it. I felt fairly confident during the game, but we just want to just see what the computer says. So, I do believe they lost Tempe with these types of moves here, the bishop move here, the pawn move here. Um, they are starting as white, so in essence really, um, they're leading the show. So. It was almost like they, these are like backward moves, waiting to see what I'm going to do. You know, blocking off the movements here for the night type thing. There's ways and means of doing that if you're being proactive. So we now attack, so then they attack. So it's gauge bar showing that they're 0 0.5, 0 0.7 up at the minute. And then they start maneuvering their night down. This again it's a lovely position if you know how to deal with it he's it's kind of not forced him he's actually attacking with a single attack only other piece that can then put more pressure on that is the queen and excuse me the queen's got this pawn as well so they could be advantageous but the queen is on the other side of the board and we do like them taking that pawn because the queen is away from their king. So I'm fairly relaxed with this particular position. We know the queen's coming to add some weight to that attack, but the knight is on one side of the board and the queen is on the other side of the board. So in my head, I'm thinking there's a slight imbalance there. So if we can interrupt their little attack process, it's going to flounder quicker than if they were both on the same side of the board doing the attack. So they capture, and we capture with the queen, looking for an exchange potentially, looking for an attack in the centre here, looking at the diagonal towards the king area, looking to fashion some sort of movements towards this weak pawn here. And the gauge bar is not happy with that, he's saying it's a plus two at the moment. It's probably because they could snap up the pawn, but we want them to take the pawn because that means they're on the other side of the board. But they don't. They spend time attacking our queen, which allows us to win a little bit of tempi in terms of they've actually blocked their queen's attacker on this main pawn here, and they've not taken the time to capture a pawn <coughs> just to have material up. And then they capture the pawn, and I'm thinking, I don't know if that's the situation. Maybe they thought that the queen was still having the diagonal attack, 
But I did think, well, okay, there might be a trap going on, so I'll just be steady. They developed the night, so obviously that was kind of maybe a mistake. So now we push our pawn, and that's basically twofold. It's defending itself, because the queen potentially could have taken twice, but they didn't choose to do so. So that's allowing us now to potentially come here with our knight, potentially come here attacking, making inroads towards their king area. And we're not over pressing, we're just having a look at what the opponent is doing and just reacting to that accordingly. So that's a simple defense me mechanism. So again, this rook move here, um, I saw the benefits to it in terms of, well, if we did start pushing forward, you know, and taking or whatever, um, then the rook maybe is in line with the queen and we may lose our queen for some reason or the other. The queen doesn't have any um, protection on it, so we have to be very mindful of that. So we bring the knight up now, attacking the bishop, because knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, and they bring their bishop down, looked at the temple, thought, well, it's not got anything protecting it. Am I falling into a trap here? Wasn't quite clear. So they push on to the rook. So we can capture. And then a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Again, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. But it can be wrong if you're sending that piece to a more dangerous square. So we attack a higher piece with our lesser piece. So they have to respond to that. So obviously now we can attack the king and attack the rook with a fork. So it's all pretty simple, straightforward stuff. So the king has only one square to go to, and then obviously we can go in with the checkmate. So it felt fairly smooth because the opponent had given us these opportunities. We didn't actually do anything special. The opponent actually gave us those opportunities. And I think that is really key in the fact that it's actually seeing those opportunities and then taking the opportunity because there's loads of games where you see these types of opportunities being made available but the player just doesn't take the opportunity to take the advantage so that's it for me today uh, for the rest of the week i think um i'll be taking a few days off but I hope you found them educational at least, especially the 1300 and also the mixing in with the 45, uh, 15 games. Uh, there's been a bit a mix of players there with the 1300s. I think this was a 1500, was it? Yep, something like that. So all in all, good experience for me, helping to de uh, develop my game as I'm going through. And I'll see you next time.